one way to represent word using frequency based embedding is to use tf idf tf stands for term frequency idf stands for inverse document frequency in this video you will learn about tf idf tf idf is an improvement over count vectorization that we have already studied in our last video on count vectorization tf idf tries to capture how often a word occurs in a document as well as how often that word occurs across the entire corpus from sql learn we will import the tf id vectorizer from sql learn dot feature extraction dot text import tf idf vectorizer we will also import pandas as pd tf is a measure of how frequently the word occurs in some document idf is a measure of how infrequently a word occurs the entire corpus where the corpus represent all of the document that you are working with let's make a corpus i'll make one variable corpus inside this i will write some sentences this is the first document this is the second document and this is the third document is this the first document let's execute our code let's print a variable corpus print corpus this is the entire corpus we got in the output we can also look at the particular document for example we want to look at this first sentence we can write corpus and index number 1 so this we will get here this is the second document to get this document we will put zero here and in the output we will see we get this is the first document let's instantiate the tf id vectorizer and save it in the object i'll make the object vectorizer now i will call the class tf id vectorizer which we have imported here and you you can see here here we have imported the class tf idf vectorizer let's execute our code let's fit it on the corpus and save it in a new variable i'll make a new variable x i'll call the object vectorizer from this i will call the property fit underscore transform we are going to fit and transform on the corpus and save the result in the new variable x here let's execute our code next we will see the vocabulary i will call the object vectorizer from this i will call the property vocabulary underscore let's execute our code and these are the vocabularies and these numbers are the unique id associated with this vocabulary let's count the total number of vocabularies 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 we have nine words here and the numbers are starting from 0 to 8 because all these words are unique next we will find the feature names the vocabularies are the feature names in real uh, i'll call the vectorizer from this i will call the property get feature names let's execute our code in the output you can see we get the same words here the only difference is here in vocabulary we got we get the words as well as the unique id and in feature names we only get the words here these are the features or you can say the columns let's see the idf score of features we will see the idf score we will call our object vectorizer and then we will call this idf underscore and these are the idf score of our features here we have nine features 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 
and here also we will get nine scores one two three four five six seven eight and nine since we have nine features we will get nine idf score the score one this score one is the lowest score because that word is repeating in all the document and let's look at this word which got the score one one two and three one two and three this document is repeating everywhere and if we look at our here you will see this word document is repeating everywhere here i have made one spelling mistake but now let's do not correct it because we have already fit our model on this corpus so because this document is repeating again and again we got the score of one then here also we got the score of one uh, let's find this one one two three four and five one two three four and five is is also repeating a lot of time and here we will see one two three is is also repeating that is why it got the score of one here these are the scores here one indicates the lowest score the idf score will down with those words that occur frequently across the entire corpus because these might be the common words such as is a the he she etc thus both tf and idf put together capture the significance of a word a rare word that occurs very often in a particular document as high high weightage for example if i put one more word here let's say i put nlp and i'll run again and let's see if we see any changes in the score and here you will see we are getting the same score almost same score we are not getting much changes here let's make the document term matrix to get the scores of each feature i'll make one variable document term matrix from pandas i will call data frame and then i will pass our variable x and we will convert this to array we will pass parameter columns and our column names will be our feature names so we will call our object vectorizer from this we will call get feature names these are going to be our column names let's execute our code let's print our variable in the output you can see we got a document term matrix these are the rows and these are the columns these are the feature names these are the idf score this is how you can find the idf score using the class tfid vectorizer this video was about tfidf in nlpa if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching